Hello students and welcome to the online teaching session. Students, in the previous video, we have read clauses and I told you that clause is a group of words and it is a subject verb combination and a clause has a complete meaning of its own. Clear? Then we have seen that clause is a type of sentence. Okay? Now today we will see the kinds of clauses. Now see, clauses can be divided into three kinds. Principal clause, it is also called as main clause or independent clause. Then coordinate clause and then Subordinate clause, which is also known as dependent clause. Now, this subordinate clause can be divided into three sub more kinds, and these are adjective clause, adverb clause, noun clause. Okay, so this is the chart of a kinds of clauses. Now, we will see principal clause in detail. See, first clause is principal clause and the definition is, this is the essential part of the sentence and other parts are built around it. Now children, this principal clause is also called as the main clause. Okay, why this is called as the main clause? Because this is the most important part of the clause and this clause does not depend upon any other clauses for its meaning. It has a meaning in its own. Like within a sentence, if we read the sentence, then we all will be satisfied by reading the sentence that the sentence is already completed. Okay, that's why it is called as the principal clause, main clause or independent clause. Now reason to call it as an independent because... This clause does not depend upon any clause. It does not depend on any clause. Clear? Now see some examples. Example number one. I love the city where I was born. Now see in this case, I love the city. This is a complete sentence in its own. It does not require further information. Okay. So, I love the city is a main clause. Now, come to the second. It is certain that she will help you. Now, see in this sentence. It is certain. Understood? It is certain is again a main clause. Just because the reason. Now, it is not depending upon any other sentence. It is not depending on any other clause. So, it is certain this will be the main clause. Now, third one. We love India because it is our motherland. So, we love India. Again, this will be the main clause. Understood? And in your book, one example is given. Tuhin poured the tea but didn't drink that. Okay. Now in this example also. Suppose if I wrote. If I used to write. Tohim poured the milk. But did not drink it. Now see sentences. Tohim poured the milk. This is a complete sentence. Now this sentence does not depend upon this. It is complete in its own. And that's why this is also called as principal clause or main clause or independent clause. Clear? Now see, once again, a clause which does not depend upon any other clause. 
and that independent clause is called as the principal clause. Now our next topic will be coordinate clause.